Michelle here with My Designs in the Chaos, where it's my goal to develop, encourage, and grow your crafting talent and confidence. And I am live with you today for our Daily Dose of Design episode number two. So let me make sure, I would love it if you said hello, let me know where you're watching from and um, we can chat a little bit. So today I am going to be answering the question, what software can I use to make SVG files? So yesterday we talked a little bit about the background of what an SVG file is and why it's important, like why that's the type of file that we need to be able to use inside of our software. And today I want to talk about where can we actually make these at? Hey, Diane, I'm glad that you're here. Um, so we are live on episode number two of our Daily Dose of Design, where I'm going to be going live every single day for the next 30 days, giving you daily tips, tricks, and answering your questions about SVG files. Hey, Janet. Hey, Barbie. Hey, guys. I'm glad y'all are here. So today, I'm answering the question, what software can I use to make an SVG? And if you see me looking to the side, I have notes written out on purpose to make sure I stay on track because those of you guys who know me know sometimes I like to chat. And so I want to make sure I stay on topic and keep these um, short and sweet and straight to the point. So, hey, Jerry, I'm glad that you guys are here. So what software can I use? Now, Here's the thing that I want to preface today's episode with. I want to preface this with the fact everybody has a little bit of a different preference. Everybody's going to have a different style. Everybody's going to have a different favorite. And so part of what I encourage you to do is to experiment and explore what works for you. And this goes not just for SVG files and for designing, but crafting in general. It's so important that we experiment and we see what works best for us as crafters, us as designers, us as creatives, us as people, um, because what works for one person might not work for somebody else. And so we've got to be willing to be flexible there. There's more than one way to find success. There's more than one way to make an amazing project. There's more than one way to design SVGs. So I'm going to give you some options today. So what software can you use to actually make your SVG files in? I'm going to give you kind of a list here. So the first one, it's totally free, Canva. You can actually make SVG files inside of Canva. You can make SVG files inside of Inkscape. You can make SVG files inside of Affinity Designer. That's a software program. You can make SVG files inside of Adobe Illustrator. You can make SVG files inside of Silhouette Studio Business Edition. There's so many different choices. You can even draw your own SVG files. They would start off as a, um, a raster image. You can draw them in Procreate and convert them into an SVG file. And so you have, that's just listing a couple right off the top of my head, six spots that you can go make an SVG file in. Now, a couple of those places, you have to be cautious because you can't just take what's on Google and convert it into an SVG and then publish it as your own. That's totally different converting something than actually designing an original file. And so I want to make sure that we're clear there. There's a big distinguishing mark between converting a file versus designing your own file from scratch. And so in some of these software programs, it's actually they're designed more to convert things versus actually design from. So my absolute two favorite softwares that I'm very familiar with and that I love the most to be able to design in, I want to talk about those for a minute. So the two that I absolutely love are Inkscape and Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. So Inkscape, it's a 100% free software. And then Adobe Illustrator, which is a very, very powerful program. So those are my absolute two favorite. I've designed in both of them. Um, I consider myself pretty proficient in both of those softwares. Um, they're very similar to each other. Um, so once you kind of have one, then you can become pretty familiar with the other one as well. So let me talk for a second about why those two 
two software programs are my favorite. Number one, why Inkscape? Inkscape is totally free. Like you can go to inkscape.org, I believe, right now, download it onto your computer and start designing and saving SVG files today. Okay, it's a great software for you to get in, get your feet warm, kind of experiment a little bit in there and be able to play around. The thing I don't like about Inkscape is it can be kind of glitchy at times. It is totally free. They're always coming up with new updates, but it can, you know, just shut down. I've had more than one occasion. I've been in the middle of designing a file. It gives me an error and it'll just shut down. So you have to be cautious of that. The other software that I absolutely love to design in is Adobe Illustrator. I love, love, love it. It is hands down my absolute favorite. It's where I actually design all of my own SVG files in. And I'm going to show, if you're curious as to, well, what types of designs does she make? What do they look like? I'm going to encourage you to head over to our website, www.mydesignsinthechaos.com. I'm going to put that right there on the screen for you and go check out some of them. We've got hundreds of free SVG files on the blog and you can see those are ones that I've created and designed inside of Adobe Illustrator. So why do I love Ad Adobe Illustrator so much? Number one, it's very powerful. Basically anything that you can imagine or envision, you can create inside of Adobe Illustrator, which is really, really cool. It's designed for that and it's got a lot of support with it. So if something's glitching or not working. There's a lot of technical support that you can go and get help with to make sure are you doing things properly. The bad thing about it is it is paid. It is a paid program. And so, um, you know, they have discounts for students and things like that, but it is paid. And if you aren't sure what you're doing, either one of these programs, Inkscape and Illustrator, can feel very overwhelming at first. Because like I mentioned at the beginning, there's more than one way to do things. And that goes for both of these softwares as well. Inside of both of these softwares, there's a whole bunch of ways that you can get to the same end result. And so sometimes it can feel a little bit overwhelming. Diane says that she's still trying to figure out those softwares. So yeah, it can feel a little overwhelming, which is one of the downfalls um, if you're trying to teach yourself on how to use them. But my suggestion is Inkscape or Illustrator. I think that those are the best places to uniquely design your own files. Again, I'm not necessarily talking about going to Google, taking an image and trying to convert it. I'm talking about coming up with an idea in your head and making that idea come to life in your software so that you can take that design and put it on a shirt or a bag or make something out of paper or do a card or something like that. That's kind of what I'm talking about there. So again, my top two favorites, Inkscape and Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to see the types of files that I personally have designed, either in um, on for free on our blog, or you know, if you've been in our Fun Five Challenge that we recently did, all of those files were designed inside of Adobe Illustrator. But I will say, I started off in Inkscape when I first learned how to design because I really encourage you to start there. It's a great free place. You can go download that software today. So that is your daily dose of design, episode number two, answering the question: What software should I be using to actually make SVG files. So I can't wait to hear if you have been exploring or experimenting where you like to design your files or where you would like to learn more about. Again, my two favorites, Inkscape and Adobe Illustrator. And if you have a question about SVGs or about designing with SVGs, make sure to shoot me an email and let me know. And I'm going to put my email right up here on the screen to make it super easy for you so that you can see exactly where to send us. So shoot me an email, info at mydesignsinthechaos.com, and I might feature your question on one of these 30 episodes of Your Daily Dose of Design. So info at mydesignsinthechaos.com. Let me know what your questions are, and I hope that you have a fabulous day. And I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you back tomorrow with episode number three. Bye, guys. <laughs>